I think you need to take a look at this. One of the best network management solutions on the market. We've got the EM7 from ScienceLogic on this episode of Gadget. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the University Catholic Center, the California Province of the Society of Jesus, and Gateway. Welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's a place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits. We're the largest religious order in the Catholic Church, and we're here in the Center for Apostolic Technology in Honolulu, Hawaii. Now let's get right to the tech. First of all, big uber geek disclaimer. You see, today we're going to be talking about enterprise technology. Now, if enterprise tech is not your thing, please please shut us off right now because you're going to get upset. And we know that when you're upset, you write us nasty grams. And I just really don't want to read any more nasty grams. If, however, you understand that enterprise tech is important because it eventually makes its way into the consumer arena, if you understand that enterprise technology is the stuff that will make the internet run better or your work network run better or your school network run better, then stay tuned because we might keep you interested. You see, today we're going to talk about management. Network management. Now, network management is one of those topics that is near and dear to every Uber Geek's heart because we understand that no matter how expensive your network might be, no matter how exotic, no matter how many routers and switches and servers and network attached storage devices you might have, all it takes is one server not doing its job, one wire that's crossed, one uh, device that's just going on the fritz, and suddenly your Uber Geek Nirvana turns into, well, a, a blinking, beeping pile of junk. And that's just no good. Management seeks to solve that problem by giving you an easy way to see what's going on in your network. It gives you a sort of an at-a-glance look at, at the ins and outs, what the potential problems might be, how it's performing, and, and hopefully a real-world experience of how people are using your network. Well, today we're going to be looking at a product from ScienceLogic. It's their turnkey solution known as the EM7. Now, this actually isn't the EM7. This is the software that they've installed on one of their kiosk stations, but it's given us a really good ability to see what it can do. We've run it through its paces for the last three months, and this is what we found. The EM7 is a complete turnkey network management solution from ScienceLogic. At the core of the solution is the EM7 appliance. The appliance integrates the EM7 software with a hardware platform that provides most of the core network and system management capabilities out of the box. It can monitor bandwidth usage and availability, allocate IP addresses and manage address conflicts, auto-discover network devices, manage asset control, and just about everything else an enterprise might have to do with its network. Of all the features included in the ScienceLogic package, the one that we have to start with because it is perhaps the most useful feature in the EM7 is the auto discovery feature. After setting the range of IP addresses for which the EM7 is responsible, the software will aggressively find all of the devices that might be connected to the network. It can discover printers, switches, auxiliary power units, consoles, servers, and the like. Most all high-end management solutions provide a similar function, but unlike many of those other management solutions that can find only a network device that fits into a very narrow band of hardware and software configuration, the EM7 has been designed with flexibility in mind. It contains a dynamic app engine that lets the EM7 discover, model, and manage any device that speaks SNMP, XML, SOAP, Axel SOAP, ODBC, or SQL. Once a device has been discovered, the EM7 represents it via an icon that the administrator can then drill down into if more information about that device is required. And all that information is available at your fingertips. You can search for devices by their network names or the IP address. You can sort by device type, manufacture, network health conditions, and a dozen other parameters. The end result is that the administrators are given the holy grail of network management, a single pane of glass that can instantly convey the health of their network and all the devices and services contained within. This isn't to say that the EM7 just provides device and service status for the network Uber Geek. The auto-discovery feature is also useful for IT execs who need to track the assets of their enterprise. Since the appliance will continually pull for information about your network, you can configure it to warn you if an asset is removed from the network. At the 2008 Interop Networking Conference in Las Vegas, Nevada, 
the EM7 was an integral part not just of their network management strategy, but also the physical security of the millions of dollars worth of equipment on the show floor in the various meeting rooms and all the public areas. It wasn't practical to station a security guard at every location in which equipment could walk away, but with the EM7, they could be warned instantly if a network-connected asset like a VoIP phone or a wireless access point was disconnected for any reason. While the auto discovery and asset management feature of the EM7 is incredibly useful, one of the features that I enjoyed the most was the way that ScienceLogic handled their reporting. All enterprise class management solutions can gather inordinate amounts of data, but the real value of a management product lies in how it presents it to the end user. The EM7 is extraordinarily efficient in the way that it presents that data. It communicated with the network auxiliary power units and let us know how much runtime was available in case of power outage. It gave us an at-a-glance look at our network assets. It broke down bandwidth usage by time, capacity, and device. It showed us the cumulative CPU usage of all the servers in our network, something that is especially useful when administrators look at adding physical boxes or virtualizing their servers within existing hardware. The EM7 can chart device types and compare them against state conditions, essentially letting you know what kind of equipment works best in the conditions in which your network exists. It will let you know which file servers have been the most active, which stations have been the most taxed, and where the latency is located on your network. The EM7 doesn't just report data on your network, but also on your human resources. It can show you the number of trouble tickets that have been issued for your network and the amount of time it took to resolve those problems. It will let you know what kind of problems on which your people are spending most of their time. It can monitor what resources your enterprise is using most often and help you to decide where your network resources ought to be allocated. In other words, the EM7 isn't just a tool that helps you manage your network. It's a new way of networking. The EM7 is available now and starts at $25,000 for the entry-level appliance that can manage several hundred devices. It can be scaled to $100,000 and more for a distributed solution that uses several appliances that are able to monitor thousands of network assets. Now the EM7 isn't one of those products that lends itself to a quick pros and cons list. It's an enterprise class product, which means that it's way more expansive than what we could cover in a show that's this short. However, I will say this. It works. And that's not just a throwaway line. I mean, it works. It really works. It really does what it's supposed to do, and it does it better than any other product in this workspace. You see, you may or may not know that I'm a member of the Interop Conference. I'm actually one of the engineering team leads that's responsible for building, and designing, and then implementing the largest, most advanced temporary network in the world. We actually build it twice. The first time in California at our warehouse, then we tear it apart, pack it up, and move it to the Mandalay Bay Convention Center in Las Vegas, where we rebuild it. Now, you might imagine that that compressed time frame means that we have to have a very good management solution. You know, with that much on the line, we just don't have the time to, to track down the stray cable or the stray piece of equipment that's just not functioning properly. We need a tool that will let us know when something's broken, when something's not working properly, and when the network is just fine. And that's what the EM7 did. Now, over the years, we've had plenty of network management vendors come in with their gear. And, you know, we've seen some great groundbreaking stuff. But most of that gear has had one fatal flaw. And that is, if you can't get all that information into a screen that can be understood by the IT administrator, by the guy behind the computer, then it doesn't matter how much data you're gathering. It doesn't matter how much information you're storing. It doesn't matter how your probes are and, and what your gear can do. It's a pile of junk. It just doesn't work. And, well, the EM7 seeks to address that by giving you the tools that you want and the information that you need in a format that you can understand. Now, at Interop last year in Las Vegas, we had three screens that had uh, the scrolling displays from EM7 that showed us exactly what was going on in the network. We had a strobe light that would turn on anytime there was something that really needed to be addressed right then and right there. I mean, EM7 was able to be configured so that we could take the data that we needed to work the network that we had to fix to keep it up for the entire show. And, you know, it just worked perfectly. It was one of these things that sort of changed the game. It changed the way that we run the network. And that's a lot to say for Interop, which has been around for up 10 years. I mean, when you deal with people who deal with this sort of enterprise class technology day in and day out, to say that there is a paradigm shifting piece of gear, well, that's high praise indeed. 
Now, if you want to find out more about the EM7, if you have an enterprise class network that could benefit from such a powerful enterprise class management solution, then you're going to want to go to their website at www.sciencelogic.com. They actually have some of the most intelligent engineers in the game, and they'll be happy to talk to you about what their solutions can do for you. If you just want to find out more about management solutions in general and, and, and uh, how they might help you and how they could benefit you in uh, whatever enterprise you might be running, then go to our website at www.thetechstop.net. If you click on the Gadget tab, you'll be able to find all of our episodes in high resolution. If you want to send us an email message, you can reach us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Balasare. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. And remember, there's no Uber Geek without you.